Holy God, you have revealed the glory of your love in Jesus Christ and have given us a share in your spirit. May we who listen to Christ follow faithfully and in the dark places where you send us reveal the light of your gospel. Amen. Welcome to Metropolitan Community Church of Windsor for Sunday, February 11th, 2024. Transfiguration Sunday. The God of gods, it's God, speaks out, shouts earth, welcomes the sun in the east, farewells the disappearing sun in the west. From the dazzle of Zion, God blazes into view. Our God makes their entrance. God is not shy in their coming. Starbursts of fireworks precede God. God summons heaven and earth as a jury. God is taking their people to court. Round up my saints who swore on the Bible their loyalty to me. The whole cosmos attests to the fairness of this court, that here God is judge. Six days later, three of them did see it. Jesus took Peter, James, and John and led them high on the mountain. His appearance changed from the inside out, right there before their eyes. His clothes shimmered, glistening white, whiter than any bleach could make them. Elijah, along with Moses, came into view in deep conversation with Jesus. Peter interrupted, Rabbi, this is a great moment. Let's build three memorials, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. Peter blurted this out without thinking, stunned as they all were, stunned as they all were by that, by what they were saying. Just then, a light, radiant cloud enveloped them. And from inside the cloud, a voice, this is my son. Marked by my love, listen to him. The next minute, the disciples were looking around, rubbing their eyes, seeing nothing but Jesus, only Jesus. Coming down the mountain, Jesus swore them to secrecy. Don't tell a soul what you saw. After the human one rises from the dead, you're free to talk. They were puzzled over that wondering what on earth rising from the dead meant. Hi, Church. Transfiguration was a core class taught at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Transfiguration is one of the most complex and dangerous magics they learned there at Hogwarts. Of course, much differently, the transfiguration of Jesus wasn't a result of magic, a magic class or done by a wizard, but rather a powerful look into the greatness of God, and as a result of Jesus being a beacon of light and love, a teacher of compassion. Now let us pray in that light and love. Pray with me. Heavenly Creator, thank you so much for bringing us together. Thank you for letting us hear the words of your message as we're supposed to receive. Amen. Today is Transfiguration Sunday. It celebrates the amazing revolution of God in Jesus, and also in Jesus as the fulfillment of what the prophets wrote in the Hebrew Bible. The word transfiguration comes from the Latin term trans, meaning across, and figura, meaning form or shape. It signifies a change of form or appearance. This is what happened to Jesus. His appearance changed and become glorious. This was a powerful look into the greatness of God. Our first reading in Psalms provides a powerful look into that same greatness of God. Our divine creator who is wanting a real relationship with us. This passage challenges us to examine our hearts, recognize God's authority, and respond to them 
with reverence and devotion. God is shown as mighty and sovereign, summoning the entire earth under their authority. God is not a faraway deity, but actively engages with their creation, displaying their power and might. God calls heavens and earth to witness God and prepare the people for judgment. The heavens themselves clear the righteousness and justice to God. Remember, as you continue to grow and explore in your faith, let the truths of Psalm 50 guide you in your journey. Stay connected to God, seek their wisdom, and strive to live a life that reflects God's righteousness and justice. Like Dory said in Finding Nemo, just keep swimming, never give up, and know that God is with you always. Never let God go. Let God's love live through you. That's what Jesus did in our second reading today in Mark. In it, we heard that Jesus went up on a mountain with a few of his disciples. Well, at the top of the mountain, Jesus spent a lot of time praying. While Jesus was praying, he started to glow. Even though the disciples knew it was Jesus, once he started to light up, it kind of scared them. But they remembered who Jesus really was and knew not to be scared. They could trust in Jesus. Today's lesson is all about encountering the glory of God and understanding Christ's divinity through the incredible event known as the Transfiguration. The Transfiguration is a powerful moment in the life of Christ and reveals his divine nature to his closest disciples. We too can experience these words of Jesus and Transfiguration in a whole new way. Christ's love is powerful. Embracing it can transform our lives. The love and message of Jesus are so very important that we need to keep them in our hearts and share them with everybody. We can learn some important lessons from the transfiguration of Jesus. We need to listen to Jesus and his important message. We need to love God first and foremost, and to love our fellow human beings unconditionally, period, like we should be loving ourselves. Remember, there is more to the world that we can see. It's sometimes hard to believe in things fully when we don't see it with our own eyes. But if we have faith, we can know for a fact that there is much more to the world that we can see. Know that faith grows in stages. We can think we have the strongest faith sometimes, but then with time and prayer and life experience, our faith grows and develops and becomes stronger than we can ever imagine. Let your faith blossom and grow in the unconditional love and acceptance of our divine creator. Use prayer, meditation, the miracles of daily life, and other spiritual experiences. They help us form each and every day. Use the many ways we experience God, Christ, and the Holy Spirit. Use it as a guide map to something wonderful in our lives each and every day. Again, like Dory said, just keep swimming. Never give up. Know that God is with you always. Trust that God is forming us into new people through Jesus. We can experience the words and transfiguration of Jesus in a whole new way. Christ's love is powerful, and embracing it can and will transform our lives. Let us be a beacon of God's light and love, teachers of compassion, like Jesus. Amen.
Let us pray. O God, as your Son drew apart to be in prayer with you, we offer our prayers for the transformation of the world and the Church. You revealed your glory and presence in your beloved Son, Jesus the Christ. In receiving our prayers, reveal the glory and presence of your Spirit alive in the world today. Free us from all doubts and empower us to act as a transfigured people. Amen. And we pray all these things in the name of Jesus, who taught us to pray. O God, our divine Parent, may your presence be ever revered. May your peace and justice dwell among us. May your love and compassion live within and between us. Nourish us daily with the necessities of life, sustenance for our bodies and inspiration for our spirits. May the forgiveness we give be that which we receive. The kindness we show be that which we perceive. Lead us on virtuous paths and distance us from evil. For your world is our world and your reign our reign then, now, and always. May it be so. Glorify the Lord. Our God is worthy of glory. Awesome God, we thank you for your righteousness at work in us. We thank you for your justice at work through us. We thank you for your mercy at work all around us. Through you, we have love. To you, we give all praise. On the night of his arrest, Jesus took bread. After giving thanks to God, broke it and said, this is my body given for you. Do this in remembering me. After supper, Jesus took a cup. After lifting it, had said, This is the cup of my new covenant. Whenever you drink it, do so in remembering me. God of righteousness, touch these elements and let them be the bread of your justice and the cup of your mercy. May this meal bring us hope, peace, joy, and love. Amen. Let us pray. We thank you, merciful God, for this sacred meal. May your spirit go with us from here giving us the strength to bring your love into the world. Amen. Thank you for joining us today. Your support, your thoughts, your prayers, your clicking on the like and subscribe buttons below, and of course your financial contributions are all gratefully appreciated as they enable us to continue this ministry. If you would like to join us in person at Metropolitan Community Church of Windsor, we meet every Sunday in the Grace Chapel of Emmanuel United Church, 1728 Lincoln Road, Windsor, Ontario, Canada, every Sunday afternoon at 2 p.m. Eastern. Let us pray. Holy God, mighty and immortal, you are beyond our knowing, yet we see your glory in the face of Jesus Christ, whose compassion lights up the world. Transform us into the likeness of the love of Christ, who renewed our humanity so that we may share in his divinity, the same Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And as we go our separate ways, May the God who has created us, Christ who saves us, and the Holy Spirit, our comfort and our strength, be with us all until we can meet again. And all God's children say, Amen.